Alright, hello boys and girls, welcome to Heroes Bottom School Academy. This is week number 35 of Grade 4 Science. We're going to be talking about acids and bases today. What are acids? What are bases? Well, let's try to talk about those kind of things. Well, an acid is a chemical compound which forms hydrogen ion or hydrogen ion. Alright, there's a difference between iron and ion. All right. So hydrogen ion is formed when an acid is dissolved in water. It may be defined as a compound which combines with a base to form salt and water. Then what is a base? We're going to talk about that. But predominantly, uh, an acid is going to have hydrogen as part of it. And most acids can be really poisonous, so we're not going to be putting acids in our mouth. Especially, except if they come in foods like uh, lime and we're going to talk about that. Examples of acids are going to be like the hydrochloric acid which is HCl and the sulfuric acid which is H2SO4. Okay, Can you remember those two? Those are two examples that you can remember. Okay, Hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid. What are certain properties of acids? Well, acids, an acid turns blue litmus paper into red. So litmus paper is something that you use typically in the lab to test if something is an acid. If you put it inside an acid, it's going to turn blue. Now, we're not going to demonstrate that right now until much later, but just know that there is a paper that is called, a piece of paper that is called a litmus paper, which if dipped into an acid is going to turn blue litmus paper into red, rather. So blue litmus paper is going to turn into red. And an acid can dissolve in water. And acids conduct electricity and they come in foods sometimes and they are the reason why certain foods taste sour. Acids can burn and are corrosive so do not play with acids. There are two major types of acids. There are natural acids like the one we can find in foods like the amino acids found in proteins, lactic acids found in milk, citric acid found in lemon, ascorbic acid found in fruits and vegetables and then there are mineral acids as well which are inorganic acids like weak mineral acids like ethanoic acid or vinegar have you heard of vinegar before and strong acids like tetraoxosulfate 6 acids which we don't want to play with okay what are acids used for Used in making fertilizers, they are key ingredients of certain foods as in vitamin C and, and, and amino acids. Then what are bases? A base is a chemical compound which reacts with an acid to form salt and water only. Okay. It may be defined as a compound which dissolves in water to produce hydroxyl ion. Okay. Which hydroxyl ion is going to be OH. Okay. H. It turns litmus into blue, so from red to blue. All right. They are slippery. They can conduct electricity as well, and they can burn, and they are highly corrosive. So there is no playing with them right now. There are weak bases and strong bases as well. Okay, weak bases are going to be like calcium hydroxide and ammonia in water. Strong bases are going to be sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. What are the use of bases? For making soaps, making toothpaste and mouthwashes, and for making fabric. And removing potentially stains from clothes like bleaches and things like that, they come with bases. So I'm going to talk about a concept called neutralization, which you are going to be learning with us at higher grade levels. It is the process of adding acid to salt, to bases rather, acid plus bases to give us salt and water. It is called a process of neutralization. Acid plus base equals salt and water. So if you can remember those kind of concepts for me today, I will be absolutely, absolutely excited. Okay, acids and bases. What acids are, what bases are, just to build your competence in science a little bit. All right. I want to thank you, boys and girls, for joining me today. Remember, God cares about you, and so do we. Bye-bye. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born, I will be your friend. So don't you 